Hello, and welcome to the student orientation module for D2L Brightspace at the YCDSB. My name is Mr. Palma, and I'll be your guide to the orientation. The student orientation starts with this video that you'll find on the homepage, and then moves to the introduction announcement, following the arrows, located right here below. This is our introduction announcement. The intro announcement gives you some context for the orientation, and then shows you where to start to jump into your orientation. What's new and very fun this year for our orientation is the fact that the student orientation module has been gamified. Using the game-based learning, uh, the game map feature within D2L Brightspace, students will follow the game map and complete each lesson, referred to as levels, within the game map along the way. The orientation will show you tools and features of the 12 Brightspace, such as the content tool, quizzes tool, discussions, assignments, etc., and show you how to use them, along with many other topics that go hand in hand with that, such as technical requirements needed, video conferencing etiquette, online learning agreements, plagiarism and originality checking with Turnitin, and many more. So let's jump in now and see uh, a little sneak peek of the orientation map. So here's what our student orientation module game map looks like. As you can see, the starting point is over here denoted by start with your indicator up top. As you move along the levels, you're going to see that there are um, in circle indicators where you will be able to move to next. So the first level available is level one. And again, we're using the word level, but basically a level is a lesson. So as you finish level one, you'll then unlock the ability to move to level two, et cetera, et cetera, as you move through the game map. It's important to note that the student orientation module has been adapted from our e-learning program orientation. So you may see some references to e-learning throughout. However, it is still very applicable to all. What was useful to so those students is now useful to all. So we've expanded the orientation to all classes if needed, including, of course, the e-learning students. You'll notice that there are six levels of orientation lessons here, and you'll have to complete them in order in order to move to the next one. So in order to move to level two, you do have to complete level one. The game map features characters that will welcome you and guide you and awards that will be given out upon successful completion of each level slash lesson. To start a lesson, click on the next available circle indicator. So here we go. We're starting the first one where you'll be welcomed by a character and directed to the link for the lesson slash level right over here where it says go to content. Upon clicking the link, it will take you to the content area of that orientation lesson where the learning begins. So let's take a look. Let me click go to content. Here's our link page. Click here to start level one. And this takes you to the content learning for this particular lesson. Each lesson or level will contain learning goals as shown here, content to review, as you scroll down the module, you'll see the content, small tasks to fulfill, and then sometimes there will be full activities that must be finished in order to move on, such as, for instance, posting to a discussion board, submitting an assignment, or taking a quiz. Once you finish that particular lesson, you will be provided with a link back to the game map, and that can be found on the next page here when we go to Meet the Teacher. When you're done this page, which is the last page of the module, you'll see click here to return to the game orientation map and begin lesson two. Let's click the link back to the orientation game map to see if we can begin lesson two. Once you click the link, you'll be returned back to the student orientation module game map. And you'll see at this point that you have finished level one and your award was achieved. Sometimes there might be a slight lag. So just to refresh the page, you click the circle again and click go to content. And it'll say that congratulations, you've completed the activity. And just click to the top right, return to the game map. And now you'll be able to move on to level two and complete the process. So some last two pieces of advice before you head out on to the student orientation yourself is that firstly, we recommend that you do not use incognito mode or private browsing mode in your browser 
as this blocks certain orientation elements that will be needed to continue. So you might, if you're using those modes, find blank spaces. So please use just a regular browsing mode when you complete the orientation module. In addition, our second tip is that when you are viewing the orientation content, it is useful to use the full screen mode. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's go back to the content here from lesson one. Full screen mode can be activated by clicking the four arrows to the corners, and this is found on every content page. When you click the four arrows, it brings the module up to full screen mode, where you can see the module and the content much easier. To exit full screen mode, simply go to the top and click exit full screen or press escape on your keyboard. Now it's time to get started. Let's head back to the home page. For e-learning students, before you get started, please note that there will be a Google form right beneath the video, so please fill that out before you get started. For everyone else, you can begin by reading the introduction announcement below very carefully and then jumping into the game map below. If you need any help throughout, please reach out to your teacher for guidance. Otherwise, good luck and best wishes in your D2L Brightspace virtual class. Thank you.